Why do we plant churches? The answer is really simple. We plant churches because of the gospel. The gospel is really good news. In fact, it's the best news. It's the news that the world needs. You see, 2,000 years ago, Jesus came to this earth. He became a man, and he did so to rescue humanity. Through his death, his life, his resurrection, his ascension, Jesus accomplished everything necessary for salvation to be made possible. And he's coming again to renovate the whole universe. This is good news. It's such good news that it needs to be spread. Jesus' mandate was for us to go. He said to go first to Jerusalem and then to Samaria and then to the ends of the earth. Well, here we are 2,000 years later at the ends of the earth, Southern Oregon, and the mandate, the commission is still there to go and to make disciples. This is what we're called to do. God has been so incredibly gracious to Heritage in our 10 years as a church. And we've always had a desire to be a church that plants churches. And so for that reason, in 2020, we're gonna be playing a brand new church in the community of Grants Pass, Oregon called Philippi. Our heart is to invite people into a deeper relationship because when that relationship is fostered and when it grows, then we grow and others see that and others are drawn to Him. Philippi was an amazing church in Acts chapter 16. They were a church that was planted through just this eclectic group of people that the gospel reached. Not only that, they were a church that was marked with generosity. Paul said that he was so grateful for Philippi that they were the only church that stood by him and funded his ministry. In the same way, we wanna be a church that's generous, a church that is kingdom-minded, that, that spreads the good news of the gospel. We wanna be a church that reaches whoever God would be bringing. We believe God has people in Grant's past ready to hear the gospel that he's gonna send us to speak to. I am very excited to see people that have gone their whole lives without hope without peace. I'm so excited to see that born in people, them to be born again and to actually experience that for the first time. Jesus said that the world would know that we are Christians by the way that we love each other. Our mission's gonna be simple. We're gonna be the church that lost people need to see so that we can preach the gospel that lost people need to hear. I grew up in Grants Pass and it feels exciting to be able to come back knowing so many people in the community and even knowing just a lot of the need in Grants Pass to be able to be part of just meeting those needs. But planning churches is not easy. It takes a lot of support. There's four different ways that you can join in this effort to plant Philippi in Grants Pass. Number one, most importantly, pray for us. This is a supernatural work. We can't make people come to life spiritually. So we need you to pray. Pray that God would have supernatural encounters ready for us as we go to Grants Pass, that people would come to know Christ. The second way you can get involved is to support financially. It's no surprise that church plants need a lot of outside support in the first few years. So if you feel led to give, go ahead and head over to Heritage Fellowship's website and you can give on there. Just specify that it's for the church plant. The third way you can support is to join our launch team. We're creating the launch team of people that simply want to make the drive for a season of time and be scaffolding in the beginning stages of, as we get things going. The fourth way you can get involved is to actually move and be Philippi Church in Grants Pass. If you feel God prompting you, let's do this. Let's move into the neighborhood. Let's be the church and let's see people come to Christ. You know, when I think about what God is going to do in Grants Pass, it's taking people deeper into a knowledge of Him, and the conduit of that will be community. I'm really excited for healing for the broken. We're really excited to see the gospel being spoken to somebody who doesn't know it or has a misunderstanding of who Jesus is. It's just gonna be a great gift to be able to celebrate what the Lord is doing throughout Southern Oregon. I can't wait to see the gospel fruit that's gonna take place in Grants Pass. We're not gonna go make something amazing happen. Something amazing already happened 2,000 years ago. The gospel is good news and we're gonna go share it.